Good morning, happy weekend. It is Saturday, it's like 7.40 in the morning. And this weekend I'm having a house-filled weekend and I'm so excited. So I'm heading to the house today to meet my family. We're gonna do just a little walk around, meet the builder, you know, catch up and everything and I will show you. And then we're gonna go and look at flooring. So I need to make my choices for my engineered wood. And then tomorrow we're gonna pop in and make my final tile choices. So it's gonna be a family-filled weekend, a house-filled weekend, and I am very, very excited and have not been awake for long, as you can probably tell. <laughs> and if you like these vlogs, please give them a like. That would be cool. Actually, so many of you have been liking them recently. It's amazing. I really appreciate it. It's really cool. Let me show you my outfit of the day. This jumper is the one that I literally don't take off at the moment from my other stories. I've got my brandy jeans on. I've got my docks and then I'm going to wear my new coat. And as you can probably see, I'm about to go run down and get rid of all of that stuff. I switched into my Converse because my docks felt a bit much with these jeans. So I'm a little early, but I think I'm gonna head off because the trains are just very inconsistent at the moment and it's the weekend, so they're probably gonna be a little worse. So I am gonna grab my gorgeous suitcase that I have and head off. Also, this, I need to really put this away. Basically, I was emptying things that I brought back from LA to take home home and I think I'm gonna keep this here and wear it to bed. It's my Disney World t-shirt, it's the Disney 50 one. It's really cool. Okay, let's go see the house and my family. Oh, wait, because there's too much mirror. <laughs> We're reunited. Yeah. And we are just about to head into the house, but we got coffee and croissants. Oh, and lovely. guess what they had, guys? I'm not going to be able to eat it with you because I'm... I'm going to film it for TikTok. If you're on any social media, I don't know if you've seen these. So there's these croissants trending right now in New York. I don't know what bakery, they're at a bakery in New York. And uh, in London, they've started doing their own versions. This is one, now this looks quite pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The one, the other one I've seen in London is huge, but I thought I'd get it and we'd try. I mean, it's gonna be a croissant with hazelnut cream and it's gonna be great, but. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, yeah so. Um, I'm not leaving them with you, I'm taking them. <laughs> You are not nice. Right, the people, what? the people want me. All right, right. Yeah, Bye. Guys, I'm in my own suite. These are my oh, shelves. So I've got a little one for like razors and things. Yeah. And then, is that gonna be your shelf or is it these two? No, these, these, yeah, and then this one. So like shampoos, conditioners, razors, and then like body wash and whatever. Oh, so crazy. Do you need a vegan? No, no, we just, there's a 14th So these are my roof lights. I really, really wanted to get something a bit different and I think these are gonna look so good because they're black. I don't know what it is about white roof lights, but yeah, I just thought these looked way more luxe and I think they're gonna really fit the room very well. I've got the same thing downstairs in the kitchen as well. These are by a company called Roof Maker and I did so much research and just, yeah, these kept coming out on top and the builders are saying they are so freaking heavy. But yeah, these are up here ready to be put in the gaps here. So we're back in the ensuite. And as I showed you earlier, these have been formed. And then we're just discussing what we're doing about shower trays, because whether I'm gonna have a shower tray or I'm going to do just like the tiles carried on, have like a gully, which is my preference. So I think we're gonna try and make that happen. But yeah, this is gonna be my shower. And then sink will be here and then toilet here. And it's just gonna be such a great space. Yeah. We're at that point where every time we come, there's just more, not problems, but more things to solve. Like we're now discussing the toilet space to go under the window, but I don't know if there's enough space. Um, yeah, probably should have been pulled up earlier. But it wasn't. So in other news, they're having to rebuild a whole wall because it's not structurally sound, which is. Uh, no ideal. I'm glad it's been picked up and it's being done. Like, this is the thing about the Renault. I see myself, it, it's good. It's good. <gasps> okay, good. I see myself being in this house for years and years to come. Like, we're talking like, you know, 20 years, 30 years. So I, if things need doing, I would rather a wall be rebuilt now than it fall down or something, you know, in like 10 years. So all the partitions are back in for the rooms. 
So all these walls were out. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be my dressing room. I was stuck between whether to do one of the other rooms as a dressing room or this one. And then I was like having a word with myself and I was like, Emily, you are 25 years old. You're never probably gonna get the opportunity to renovate a house like this again. Do it how you wanna do it. Stop trying to be practical and think for like the future or think for what resale values. Do what you want to do. And I made a decision that this is going to be the dressing room. I think this room is bigger than the primary bedroom. Uh, so it's a real treat, but I really wanted the primary bedroom to be a hideaway where it literally was like a bed, cozy, nothing else, and like an ensuite. So for this room, I really wanted it to be a space where I could be creative because I feel like what I wear is a real extension of my creativity and also where I could get ready with my friends and hang out and yeah I was texting one of my friends the other day when I was here because I put some bits with my close friends and I was like can't wait to get ready together in here and like spend evenings and she was just like oh can't come soon enough so yeah like I'm gonna I'm sad because obviously I'm not gonna be in for Christmas and that was like my initial goal but it means I get to have everything perfect ready for next year to do all of this like get ready, getting ready for Christmas parties with my friends and things next year yeah yeah. So Emily, are you envisaging painting the stairs white and then having a runner at the middle? That kind of thing. So you don't want it, it's not going to be, you don't want a sort of exposed oak stair. Painted that wood with painted a runner is what I'm looking at. Painted wood with a runner is what you're going for. And yeah. In which case you don't need to spend lots no. of money on a note. No, I don't need like a beautifully finished one. A, a wood yeah. finishing. Is different. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think sometimes that will look out of place because if it's white, that's how you see it in a Victorian house, isn't it? Yeah. I also want it to look a bit aged. I don't want yeah. perfect, so. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Soft wood. So we're going to go Please, with soft yes. Wood. yes. Okay. Decision made. So these are the other roof lights that are going into the kitchen. And can you see that large frame at the back? That is the frame for my roof lantern. Yeah. So that's the thing, I don't think I've told you about that yet. That's going in the snug, so it's going to be a really light and bright room. We've arrived at the flooring showroom, or at VFL with flooring, and I'm very excited because I actually haven't seen the samples my mum and dad have, so I'm going in blind right now, which I think is probably best, actually. Mm -hmm. So I know kind of what I would like, and I know what tones and things like that, so it's just finding the right thing. So engineered wood is what I've said from the start I've really wanted. So yeah, I'm glad to have found somewhere that hopefully will have exactly what I'm looking for. This was a recommendation. I, most things I've tried to do have been recommendations. I think the only thing that wasn't was where I sourced the roof lights from. That was just from like research, wasn't it? Online. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited, let's go in. So these are the samples that I ordered. These were my preferences online. But obviously they look so different. So, I mean, I think this is really cool. Yeah, I like that like really nice i mean i like that one down there as well but i don't know if that's quite warm but then i like this one as well i'm trying to figure out oh see this looks slightly cooler i think i prefer this one so this will go through your land uh, well this or... is herringbone so this is what i would like in my dressing room but i'm also looking for some straight planks for the rest of the house same same color i'd like the same color i don't know if this is too dark for the dressing room though i think it probably is i probably need a lighter one this don't is, i i really like this this is lighter, isn't it? Do you think? I think this is just warmer. I think it's lighter. Oh, this, it's yeah. This is quite nice. Guys, I really like the look of this one. What did you want, light? I wanted light. I, I don't, maybe that's not too light. It's definitely going to reflect the light yellow, back up. It? It's not yellow. Which is not quite and it's not whitewashed like that. Are you okay then? No, I'm not. <laughs> Hey, me. What do you think to this one? Oh, I like that. Nice, isn't it? I can't believe how many there is. Yeah, obviously everybody's good for us. This is 104. This is a different collection. Are they? Yeah, yeah. This is seashell. Yeah, seashell oak. It must be the same thing. Possibly the same collection, but it looks the same. It does. On camera, it looks. Yeah. I mean, I like that one. But you want light in your studio. I do would like. Yeah, I would like light in my studio. I like this one. Me too. I think it's gorgeous. I think it feels nice. So just so you have a panel of herringbone and then another panel. So this is that seashell one in planks. I am looking at it in herringbone, but it's cool to see the colours. I really like this. Oh yeah, stunning. I think that's the one mum we pulled out. I said we liked. That's the 
the one over there. That's the stunning. Bottom. It's got a bit of character to it, Oh, it? it's so yeah. lovely. I think that's gorgeous. I think that's actually might be nicer. In the studio? In the studio, yeah. yeah. Press a button. Press a button. Okay. The plane. Press the white button. Space and <laughs> Not A button then. B button. Press, press one of the red. Could we play Pac-Man? What's this? Donkey Kong? <gasps> Do you want to get play Switch later? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know where my Switch is. I have it. It's in the basket. I've been keeping it, looking after it for you. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought I thought we'd been taken. No. <gasps> I've been looking after it for you. I charge it up every once in a while, check that everything's okay, download updates. What do you love for you? I know. Can I take it home now? No. <laughs> she Mine's likes her dual screen. Mine's better anyway. Wait, can you, are you, wait, you're not playing too, are you? Is she gonna beat me? That's the question. Oh, is that because that's just hitting me there? You're moving. Oh, is that? What? Just so it doesn't hit me. Oh, perfect, thank you. Uh, <laughs> check it. Guys, I've just chosen my flooring. Yes. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't think, I, you know, I'm so indecisive and I really thought I'd go in there and come out and be like, oh my gosh, what do I even do? But I feel like we got all our questions answered, yeah, didn't we? Uh, I'm obviously going to take a few days and think about it, but we had a lot of kind of questions with regards to like what we do with stairs and underfloor heating and all things like that. But that was so positive. I've been given some samples and it's exciting. Can you believe I chose something? No. <laughs> He was a nice chap, he actually made it easy. I know, he was really nice. Oh, I'm so pleased. Good morning and happy Sunday. It is house day two. I'm doing all housey things this weekend, obviously family things too. So we got back last night and basically just sat and chilled and caught up with my family and my dog. It was wonderful. So yesterday I like went over everything I saw at the flooring showroom and I'm so happy. So I'm going to on Monday put that in motion to go ahead with that, which is so exciting to get that ticked off the list because obviously that's a huge thing. And then today, dad and I are gonna pop to Tops Tiles and go and see the tiles that I've chosen. I haven't ordered them yet because I want to do like a final choice talk to the guys in the store because I went ages ago and spoke to them in store and they were super helpful and I then went online chose everything and it's been a few months so I just feel like I need to go in for a refresh go and talk to them be like you know does this grout go with this what's this gonna look like because they have so many different grouts and just tiles in general so yeah I think it's always I'm, I'm trying to do that thing where you ask the people that know what they're doing instead of just assuming I know what I'm doing because I do not so I'm gonna be that person that is asking a million questions and hopefully it'll work to my benefit. I get asked all the time what lipstick I wear. It is this one, Fenty. I will link it in the description box down below. <laughs> you can hear dad singing downstairs, which means he's uh, getting bored of waiting for me. So I'm going to go and get dressed and we'll head off. I found this cute little jumper in my drawer. So what I'm wearing today is and other stories. I love this. I'm gonna take this back to London with me because it's actually a staple for me this time of year. I used to have a black one, but my mum shrunk. And I have to whisper because it still upsets her. <laughs> the best part of the weekend. Oh my gosh. So this is my pile of house stuff. If you follow my Welcome Home account, you would have seen these are the kitchen colors that I was choosing from. Oh, yeah. So these are the colors. I have obviously chosen. It's all ordered and being made currently. I wonder if you can guess which one I went for. Well, actually I've got two of these. So I picked one of these and one of these. If you can pick, I'll be really impressed. Like if you can figure out which one, like which combo. I convinced dad to pick a Starbucks up on route, which I'm very happy about, but we have just arrived. So let's head in. So we just got in and done a once round of the store. I wanted to just have a look, see if there was anything else that kind of jumped out at me just to make sure I've made, you know, the right decisions. So a member of staff has just gone to grab the samples. They've got everything in of all of the tiles that are on my list and I'm gonna see them and be able to kind of like place the floor tiles with the wall tiles and see what I like and then we are going to choose the grout. So these are the tiles that I'm looking at for the ensuite. So we have the forest green colour which I'm thinking of doing all on the walls and then this is the floor. This is what kind of started the whole vibe for the room. I love this. I'm also considering putting this in the cloakroom downstairs if I can get away with it but I would love to because I think it's a dream. So this is it visually how it's going to look in the ensuite. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. So talk to me about grouts. How I've been told it's a big deal. Well, you've got all these colors. Okay. You can pick whichever one you want. Okay. As you can see with the mosaics, grout color does change how tiles look as well. Yeah. So with the forest green ones, we've got that one. You've got things like the gunmetal. Uh huh. I do quite like the stark contrast. Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, okay. Because I'm doing brass hardware in this room. Okay. So 
potentially that could work because it will tie in. Oh, but I do quite like the bright white. Is that the kind of tone you're going for? Exactly, yeah. So we've got trims that match, it's actually brass. Oh, fun. It does start to oxidise, so there is a wax that you put on it to keep it okay. for longer. Yeah. There's a box one and there's a straight edge too. Okay. So you've got... Oh, that's nice. So there's that, and obviously the crack line won't be as big. Yeah. <gasps> that's what it could look like when it's finished. Dad, look at this. Oh, that's exciting. The brass, there's a brass trim they can do. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. That looks so good. That's going to go tail rail and the uh, shower screen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's perfect. I definitely think. So, which white's this? That's the antique white. The slightly that's, so, that's a slightly yellowier white. Yeah. So, there's a it's bright not stark, white. dark, is it then? No, but I think that looks quite good. How does that age? Well, there is a grout protector sealer okay. that will completely waterproof up. These, these are mixed with water, so it's yeah. water resistant. Okay. So any kind of shower areas have continuous water heating it. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. So this will obviously protect that from happening. Any hair dye that you use will help yep. stop that from going through into the ground and stay in the ground. Oh, I wouldn't have even so thought of that, that, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with, it, with this. I think this room... Happy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I think I, it's just the two white grouts that I'm not sure which one to go for. Do you think I should go for the bright white instead of the other? Well, there's another one too that actually is bright bright white. Oh, really? Okay, ensuite has been decided. We had some tweaks. Basically, the tiles that I wanted to use on the floor, we can't use in the wet room, in the actual shower area. So, I've picked some different ones and I really, really like how it's going to look. So, it's a bit different to what I originally expected, but we actually changed that yesterday. I was having a shower trip until we went, so I haven't checked that they were usable. So, I'm stuck. We're looking at this outdoor area, which is like a pot pathway and I don't know yeah I think it's at the back here I don't know which grout to do so we're going to look at the display so they've got white yes. and that looks great but what have they got on here again they've got lighter so should I be thinking of white that's quite nice I mean maybe the antique white yeah no exactly that was it maybe we do antique white mm. yeah yeah I mean I'll definitely I mean, it's something I'll have to keep on top of, but I think it's worth it. Because Please. Dad. That's twice you've been doing that thing. Oh, he's mugging me off all day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's antique white. Let's note it down. I'm happy. 100% yes. Yeah. Because I think, especially if I'm carrying them on into the house, it's going to be dark there, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't want to make it any darker. Yeah, all our grouts are antibacterial, anti mold, flexible, external, and internal grouts. Amazing. So this is my outdoor slab. I initially thought I wanted square, but I've changed my mind and I'm going to switch it to rectangular. But obviously now I have to decide which grout I'm going to do. I just really never thought grout would be such a big deal. Guys, my tiles are chosen. I'm going to take the rest of the weekend just to make sure I'm happy with everything. That's one thing I very much learned in this process is to go away and think about it, even if you're already sure, because sometimes things change. But yeah, there were definitely things like spanners thrown in the works there that I hadn't considered and we hadn't considered that she was like oh this and that and it would be like oh like we haven't even thought about that but she then gave us solutions which was really cool her name was Steph so if you are near the Market Harbour area I 100% recommend going in and speaking to her she solved all of our questions and we're done are we? Brilliant. Yep. Ah. Sorted. I can't believe it. I'm so happy that we're ticking these huge things off. So I've just been sat going through everything this morning and I'm really confident that I've made some really good decisions. I obviously haven't shown you everything. I do want to keep some things surprised. Like I'm happy to share the themes of things and some of the tiles, but I really want to show you some amazing like transformations and each room I really thought so deeply into. Well, with the tiles anyway. We're not even going to get onto paint, so I can't even think about that for a while, but yeah definitely for tiling i knew exactly what i wanted and i'm so confident in my choices so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this vlog with anything i am going to try and summarize everything on my blog it will always be linked down below because i know so many of you watch these and you're doing your own projects so Everything like wordy, detaily, linky will be over on my blog. That way I can just continually keep updating it. And yeah, you'll know kind of where to go to find things. But I really hope you enjoyed this little family vlog. It's made me so happy to spend some time with my family. I'm so lucky that I have them with me to do these things. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.